hold on. So just saying with conspiracies, if one is dominated by conspiracies, then it's um, it's kind of like it's probably fear based uh, and it's probably one is in fear. And so it's kind of a thing like who's to blame. So it's like, well, who's to blame for the coronavirus? Is it is it the rabbits in China? Are they to blame? I might Google up, uh, you know, uh, sick, uh, sick rabbits in China or is it like uh, is it an ulterior motive of some government who's to blame for there? And it's it, it's a form of a level of consciousness. If I'm dominated by fear or paranoia, um, then that would be the type of thing that I'd be very attracted to, uh, conspiracy theories. And so uh, that's one aspect. I mean, it's not to say that there can be conspiracies out there, but if I'm dominated and my consciousness is dominated, it's very much I'm probably in fear because that, I'm on radio... Uh, radio conspiracy. So the way I would get out of it now, I mean, you know, it could be valid that uh, often if I'm dominated by conspiracies, it probably means there's a karmic element to it. It probably means, you know, what I'm attracted to in the world tends to be something that's within me. So I'm probably quite a conspiring person. I probably like plotted behind people's back either in this lifetime or past lifetimes. So if that's a thing, or if it seems to be that there's lots of conspiracies going around me and I seem to be in a world and in plots of conspiracy everywhere, it might have been in this lifetime, past lifetimes, I was that type of person. And therefore the world is just keeps giving me these lessons of what it's like to be on the other end of, uh, of conspiracies. So whatever happens, whether it's just projections in my mind or whether it's actually happening in truth, for me, the one of the prime ways I would clear it, uh, this thing of like, who's plotting against me or is there a, a government that's plotting something, uh, I would um, first try to clear my perceptions of con conspiracy. Like if I think like it was, um, let's say I think it's the, the fault of the animals in China that are to blame, you know, then I would, I would pray for forgiveness for the for my judgment of say the rabbits or I'd pray for a miracle to see the Chinese rabbits differently. I'm saying that as a joke. I mean, I'm sure uh, there are other conspiracies out of how coronavirus or other things have emerged or could it be wireless transmitters? Could it be telephone? Could it be 5G telephone transmitters that are creating coronavirus? So, and then I might think, well, maybe it's uh, the greedy governments or whatever it is. So can I pray for forgiveness because the other thing is, if I'm buying into conspiracies, something I can do for myself and the world is realise is what Dr. Hugh Len has done. So if you, if you remember Dr. Hugh Len, all these people in a prison uh, in, in America, in Hawaii, all he had to do was clear his perceptions, his data, and his consciousness. So even though these people, you know, had all, committed all these crimes, all he was doing was just forgiving and clearing the data in his consciousness. So when you clear the data of a conspiracy in your consciousness, there's probably some of, some level of the collective humanity is buying into this thing. And it may be true, it may not be true. What you're doing is you're, you're, you're deleting that karma, that susceptibility in the collective consciousness to hold on to conspiracy theories and to indulge and to even act out on conspiracies. Um, so... That would be the thing. I'd be cancelling my beliefs. I'd be placing, uh, you know, 5G transmitters, uh, sick rabbits in China into God's infinite light and love and praying for miracles and transcendence. Because, you know, whether it's true that the rabbits caused it or whether it's the 5G things, when I clear that in myself, I'm, I'm clearing that energy within the collective consciousness. So whether, it, whether it's true or not, there is a benefit for me for clearing that fear away in myself and from the world. And if I was to, if my whole life was dominated by conspiracies, then I'd spend my whole life trying to clear the idea and forgive the idea of conspiracies in myself and forgive those who commit conspiracies. Because in that, what you're doing is I'm healing myself, I'm healing the energy in those who buy into that kind of energy. So that would be my thing. Um, also, if I'm attracted to buying it, to watching hours and hours of conspiracy and finding out about more and more conspiracies, I would try and stop myself from doing that. I would just try and clear what's in myself. If there's someone who's, who I, if it's the truth and there is a conspiracy and I have absolutely overwhelming evidence, 
that apart from if it's necessary to take action, I would actually forgive that person and forgive myself and send love, just try and clear the energy of it. Because remember, with cancelling beliefs, as long as there's karmic permission, you can surrogately clear the energy in others if, if, it's, if it's God's will, if it's allowable. It's not always allowable. So, you know, when churches pray for someone who's ill, they'll often get better when a group prays for them. So, um, you know, often I remember Hawkins would get his Course in Miracles group to pray for the Chinese leader because they realised as a group, um, if they all prayed for him, that would have an effect on him you know, to clear his consciousness. So even if these conspiracies are real or not, sending out light and love is of immense power. Okay, I'll stop it there.